Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm 18 years old. I'm going to tell you the story about the time when I was on a video call with my girlfriend, and things got really out of hand. So basically, my girlfriend Astrid and I are in a long-distance relationship. We've been together since high school, but college led to different states, and we had to separate. However, we decided to keep our relationship long-distance because we were too deeply in love to end things. Sure, such a relationship has its insecurities and all, but Astrid and I trust each other, and we never really faced any problems. We used to talk to each other all the time through Skype and kept each other updated on all our activities. It never felt like we were really apart. Even though this concept of long distance was new to us at all, we were getting through it pretty smoothly. One day, when I got back home from college, I Skyped Astrid like every day. She instantly connected with me and I smiled, but my smile fell when I saw her pale face. Hey, are you okay? I asked her in concern. It's nothing serious, so you don't have to worry. My professor is sick, so our classes were cancelled she replied. It's just that I've been stuck inside my home for days and it's taking a toll on me. I feel super bored these days. We have no idea when our classes are going to resume, so yeah. I shook my head. You should have told me sooner. I didn't have any idea about this. It's nothing serious, though, she insisted. Anyway, how was your day? And just like that, Astrid changed the topic, and we started talking about other things. And it really did seem to take her mind off things. I was giving her suggestions about what she could do in her free time when suddenly her phone went off. Oh, she stared at the screen. Michael, I have to take this call. I'll call you later. She waved me a goodbye and clicked something on her laptop. I was waiting for the call to disconnect, but it never happened. Astrid had accidentally clicked the wrong key and the call didn't disconnect. But obviously Astrid thought that I wasn't on the call anymore. She had pushed the laptop to the side, but I could still see her very clearly, just a different angle. I don't know why, but I was debating with myself if I should disconnect the call or, or just keep it on. Maybe it was just because I was curious as to who it was that Astrid was talking to on the phone. I mean, why did she seem so eager and excited and didn't hesitate to brush me off? Okay, maybe I was just overthinking things now. It was wrong to invade her privacy like this, I know. I was about to disconnect the call when I heard something that made me stop. Yeah, I miss you so much, Astrid was saying over the phone. Why don't you come over to my house now? I mean, I'm free. It's not like I have a boyfriend here who will disturb us. I was shocked, to say the least. Okay, yeah, she was right about her boyfriend not being there because I was in a different state, but why did she say it as if she was cheating on me? I shook my head. No, I trust her. But I couldn't disconnect now until I saw for myself who she called over. Astrid spent some time setting up her hair and makeup while waiting for this special person. She was so distracted she hadn't even glanced in the direction of her laptop, not even once. A few minutes later, she left the room and came back in with another girl. So I mentally sighed in relief. Okay, she was just having a friend over. I had worried for nothing. Hey, I missed you, her friend was saying. It's been so long. I know, right? Astrid replied, pulling her to the bed beside her. I couldn't stop thinking about you, Astrid, her friend said seriously, and I frowned. Why was she acting so strange? Astrid chuckled nervously. Now you're exaggerating. You need to get a boyfriend and stop thinking about me. But what if I don't want to? Her friend asked, getting closer to Astrid. I wanted to yell at her to stop, but I couldn't expose myself. And I couldn't do anything, just sit there and watch helplessly as Astrid's friend suddenly kissed her. Astrid seemed to be a bit shocked, but didn't protest. And I felt my heart falling. What was happening? How? Just minutes ago, I, I was talking to Astrid. And now this? Astrid pulled away first. Brianna, this, this is wrong. I have a boyfriend. But he doesn't have to find out, Brianna said. I couldn't believe my ears. How could she say that? But I love him, Astrid said uncertainly. Don't tell me you didn't feel anything right now, Brianna replied. You think you love your boyfriend, but that's not really the case. You're just holding on to him, Astrid. Why was this Brianna girl brainwashing Astrid like this? The frustrating thing was that I couldn't even do anything at that moment. I, I think that you may be right, Astrid said. I need to rethink my relationship with Michael. And to be honest, long distance is pretty tough for me. I want a normal relationship. Brianna smiled at Astrid and said a few more stupid things before leaving. I disconnected the call in anger. It's been three days since then and Astrid hasn't contacted me. She doesn't pick up my calls either. I can't leave to go see her in person. I'm so lost right now. What should I do? How should I fix things? I don't want to lose Astrid. 